So the question is, we're in a cross-court rally like this, and uh, it's high to the backhand. I'm assuming uh, players getting pushed back. So you're backing up, hitting a backhand, which is like the hardest shot to, uh, to handle in tennis, uh, probably looping it back, and then this player stepping in and hitting uh, either a volley or a, uh, a ground stroke. Uh, there's there's no good answer here is the uh, is unfortunately the the situation so if you are backing up like that you're already in um, you're already going to lose most of those points so the first answer is try and avoid that situation we'll talk more about that a little bit later when we get into some lefty righty stuff but there's a couple things you can do the first is you can actually come if it's a high loopy ball you can actually come inside the baseline and kind of hit a volley if you have that ability there's a drill on YouTube that I did with Yano Zhu, this has got to be like eight, nine years old at this point. It's called the inside man drill. And basically, the way the drill works is just you and your partner, as you're rallying, have to stand inside the baseline, hit everything inside the baseline. You're not allowed to back up. So that's one way to work on taking the ball either early, which is certainly an option, hard to, hard to do, or just taking it clean out of the air. Uh, also, uh, also something you can do. So... The other recommendation, if you're pushed back like that, typically when you're, you know, you're taught, okay, I'm pushed back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll it back, give myself time, but this person's smart and is moving in to take that ball out of the air. So what you can do instead, if you're still backing up, is actually drive that ball as much as you're able to and try and land it around here. Because if this person is closing, then you're gonna hit it relatively hard, you're gonna keep it lower like a normal ground stroke, and ideally you want it to kinda of land, you know, at their feet would be ideal, but if you can't pull that off, just drive it hard at them and force them to hit a half volley. Uh, it's certainly not a high ball where they can step in and hit an approach shot, and then ideally they pop it up, and then you are able to close and do something with that shot. So this is gonna become a cat and mouse game uh, in this situation because if they're coming in behind this and you drive it here, that's a good shot, right? That'll put some pressure on them. But if they hang out and then you hit this same shot, now it's kind of a short ball, which they can then step in and attack. But then if they hang out back here, your high ball is more effective, right? Because then it pushes them back. So this is just going to be a situation where you're going to be playing that cat and mouse game based on what villain's trying to do, what they're trying to do with their positioning, and you just got to keep an eye out and adjust as the match goes on. Hope you like that strategy training. You know, that stuff came out of the singles playbook and the doubles playbook. And these two things are awesome. And if you wanna check them out, a link has just popped up. If you're on mobile, might need to scroll to the description. And if you're on the website, there's a link somewhere around here that'll take you to one of these two playbooks. And they're super cool. They'll help you play much better tennis. They'll probably bring tears to your eyes.